Hey everyone, Mylon here with Fit Personal Training and Wellness, and thanks for tuning in to another great video. As you can see, today I'm outside. Um, it's a rare, nice, warm day in November here in New England, where we're based. Um, so I wanted to capitalize on this and do a workout that's um, geared towards um, outdoors, but also taking advantage of some of the um, you know apparatuses or equipment you may have at a local park um, or neighborhood, wherever it may, it may be. Um, today I'm at you know a local field here. Um, I have a bench. I brought my mat, um, and then I have myself. You know we don't need tons of equipment, um, but I would prefer if you guys do have access to outside, try this outside um, because I am going to be using a bench for a lot of these workouts today, a lot of these exercises. Um, so follow along, um, pause, you know rewind as needed. Um, but most importantly, let's make sure we keep our form right. And um, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of circuits here for you guys today and um, let's get working. Okay, so for this first circuit, I have three exercises that we're gonna do um, in their cardio based. So we're gonna use this bench here, okay? The first exercise is going to be a step up with a knee up, okay? The second one is going to be a plank jack, and the third one is going to be an extended plank with a shoulder tap. So follow along and I'll demonstrate. So for the step up, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with my right leg, put the leg up on the bench, you wanna engage that core, Keep those hips back, chest is up. You wanna step up and bring that knee up. Come back down, maintaining a good pathway here. Knees behind the toe. Again, step up, bring that left knee up, back down. Up, 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 okay? Now we're gonna get the next leg, the left leg. Stays up, the leg that you're stepping up with always stays up. Right knee up. Right knee up, okay, you want to drive up through that heel and that glute of the leg that is on the bench, okay? Now when you do the actual circuit, we're going to do each leg for 30 seconds, okay? Now this next exercise is called the plank jack. With the plank jack, you want to approach the bench as if you're getting in a push up position, okay? Arms are extended, fingers are spread, hands are flat, we want to kick our feet out. Back to the middle, out, middle. Maintaining a straight back, keeping that core engaged. Okay, that's our plank jack. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Now for the third exercise, it's going to be our extended plank with the shoulder tap. So with this exercise, same starting position. Make sure you have a good base with your feet. Okay, tap the shoulder. Maintaining a level back. Now the faster you go, the more you're going to get that heart rate up. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. Okay, tap and tap. Okay, so we have our step up with our knee up, we have our plank jack, and we have our extended plank with the shoulder tap. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through all three, three times. So 30 seconds each leg on the step up, 30 seconds of the plank jack, and 30 seconds of the extended plank with the shoulder tap.
For this next circuit, okay, we're gonna start with one of my favorites, the body weight squat, okay? So, let's use the bench, start seated, okay, make sure you hinge those hips back and engage that core, drawing that navel in. Shoulders are back, keep your hands in, stand up nice and tall, come right back down to the bench. Up, down, up, down. Maintaining the integrity of the exercise, getting those glutes and hamstrings working, okay? The next exercise is going to be our traditional push-up, okay? So approach the bench, 
We're gonna have a good base with our feet. We don't wanna be too close here. Slight outward bend with our elbows. Come right down to the bench, push back up. Come right down to the bench, push back up. Okay, now, if these are too challenging, you can place a mat or something soft in front of the bench, drop down to your knees, and just modify these. Okay, just like this, engaging that core, pushing right up. Okay, now from here, the third one's going to be our extended plank, okay, with our leg raise. Extend that leg, extend that leg, straight leg all the way through, maintaining a nice straight shoulder path, squeezing your glutes as you extend up. Okay? Now also, I do want to note, if you want to do the squats without the bench, you can. If you feel comfortable enough in the integrity and the form of that exercise uh, is staying true to itself, then you don't need to use the bench. But if you have any question in your form, use the bench. We're going to do 30 seconds of our squats. We're going to do 10 push-ups. We're going to do 30 seconds of our extended plank with the leg raise, okay? Squats first. Ready and begin.
Now to finish, we're gonna do a little cardio burst, okay? We're gonna do some mountain climbers. We're gonna go four rounds through, 30 seconds each round, okay? So the mountain climber looks like this. Go and approach the bench, okay? Chest over it, good base with the feet. Bring your knee in, alternate through, okay? Wanna engage that core as we go, okay? For 30 seconds. If you wanna give yourself a little more of a challenge, you can go for longer. But what I wanna really focus on is as little rest as possible between each set, okay? So get to 30 seconds, try to get between 10 to 20 seconds of rest, then get your second set in for four total. Awesome job today. I'm so glad you guys could join me and thanks for tuning in. As always, if you ever have any questions, recommendations, etc., visit our website at functionalinhometraining.com and don't forget to take advantage of your complimentary consultation if you want to take these videos a step further. I've been Mylon. Again, it was great to see you guys and until next time, thanks for tuning in.